ChatGPT versus Jasper.ai. Which one is better? Which one should you use? Hey, it's Arit here with Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. Although both of these AI platforms may look similar on the surface, after using both of these for months, I've really come to see there's a huge difference between the two that other people aren't talking about. Now, this isn't an in-depth review of either platform showing you all the features. I feel like there's a ton of other videos online talking about that already. And sometimes it could be information overload that it's confusing to decide which one's right for you. So I'm gonna get straight to the point so you can make a quick decision on which one's right for you. Let's get into it. So the biggest difference between the two tools is that ChatGPT is an AI chat. Jasper has an AI chat, but it also has templates. It's also set up in a way to make it easy for you to decide what types of content to create with Jasper.ai so that you're not kind of shooting in the dark with the chat only. So like you can see here, there's templates for creating your video descriptions, content summarizing, copywriting for landing pages, Amazon product features, blog posts. There's a ton of stuff in here that you could use to generate content where you're just clicking into it, you provide what it asks for, tone of voice, and then it will output those pieces of copy for you. So if you're in the content marketing game, I find it's really helpful to have all of these categories of templates where you could just come in here and use that particular framework that Jasper already has an understanding on, right? It already has an understanding on email subjects. It knows this is what you want. Now you can do this stuff in the chat as well. So you can either use Jasper's chat or chat GPT to come up with all of these things like email subject lines and blog posts. So it's not to say that ChatGPT isn't good in these areas. You just need to get a little bit more creative in terms of the information that you're feeding it and the words that you use, the language that you use when you're typing out that prompt in the chat. Now I'm gonna show you the differences in outputs that I gave both Jasper.ai and ChatGPT the same commands. And I wanna show you the comparison between the two outputs. And then I'll conclude with the biggest difference between the two across the board. So I did a little bit of an experiment. I gave both Jasper and ChatGPT a little assignment. So I asked it to write a video script on the topic of the future of e-learning. And I gave ChatGPT the exact same thing. Right off the bat, you can see that ChatGPT gives it more in a blog post format, right? Writing a little paragraph about each section or subsection of this video script. Whereas Jasper really understood that it was a video script and not only gave me what to say in the video, but also suggested scenes for what the viewer is seeing within the video, which was pretty cool. And by the way, guys, I just chose random prompts to put into this. I didn't know what I was gonna get. Um, just before this video, I gave it like five different prompts. So we're just comparing this as we go. So really quickly in the intro here, um, it says a person sitting in front of a computer screen and someone saying the world of education is changing rapid rapidly with the rise of technology, da 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 da, right? In the intro over here, we have welcome to this video on the future of e-learning. Uh, a reference to COVID that accelerated the shift of online education, which is true. In this video, we'll explore the key trends that are shaping the future of e-learning. So as a copywriter, I understand what good copy looks like. And in this particular intro, ChatGPT is kind of touching upon certain facts in the e-learning, for the future of e-learning. Whereas Jasper is talking more about how this topic benefits the viewer or whoever's about to engage with this video. Um, they're talking specifically about it's a popular way to learn new skills and knowledge from the, co the comfort of your own home. The world of education is changing rapidly, right? This is posing a bit of a challenge that's going on in our world today. So Jasper takes a point for me on this with the fact that it's in a script format and just the copy, it understands good copy more. Again, it's not to say ChatGPT isn't a good copywriter but you need to kind of, I find you need to work with it a little bit more for it to really be a specialist in copywriting. This copy that it has here is pretty good. It's just, it's more, it's more general. It's more surface level. You know, you could tell it to rewrite this whole thing with a different tone of voice or for this kind of person. So it understands who it's writing for. 
I gave it another prompt, write a better, more compelling introduction that gets people excited for what's to come. So I was like, let's create a little bit more hype for in that intro. It did a lot better as you see here. So it started off with a question, which is great for any piece of content. It engages the person right into that content. And now it started talking about you know, how, how the world of e-learning is evolving at lightning speed and using language like get ready to be inspired, challenged, you know, hype language. Jasper, I gave the same prompt. So still remember to do it in the video script format. And again, started with a question. Are you ready to experience the future of education? If so, you're in for a treat. Today, we're going to take you on a journey through the most exciting trends in e-learning. So I like how Jasper right off the bat tells in that first sentence that we're gonna take you on this journey. Whereas ChatGPT, again, went a more factual route, talking about the world of e-learning, etc. So just something to keep in mind. So again, Jasper kind of took the win for me on this, but it's not to say, like I said, that ChatGPT won't output what you need. You just need to tell it a little bit more directly what it is that you're looking for. Uh, and the final thing that I wanna share with you here before sharing the biggest difference across the two that will help you decide which one is good for you is I asked it to give me five social media posts from that video script and also to give me a posting schedule. So you can see here, uh, it gave me kind of more tweet-like, Twitter-like uh, social media posts, um, but I love the way that it started a lot of these with a question. Uh, I love that it gave dates, which is really great too. And it's really engaging the person again into the content. On the other hand, Jasper went a more hype route. Um, so, you know, saying today's the day, here's the, the, the day of the release, the, the, when the video is coming out. And then uh, subsequent posts are like, have you seen this video yet? Uh, some questions here and there, but I actually liked ChatGPT's outputs more just because of the, the copy. It's, it's less go watch this video and more specifically telling them why they should watch this video because I want to know the answer to this question, right? So what does this mean? You know, this kind of feels a little bit inconclusive. And I felt this way in the beginning when I was using both tools. But the more I used it, I really came to see that Jasper is more of a specialist in copywriting and content marketing in general, whereas ChatGPT is more of a generalist, more like a really great virtual assistant that can pump out a ton of different things for you. So it really depends what you want to use AI for. What is your biggest need right now? Do you want to save a ton of time with social media posts and content coming up with that? Are you a blog writer and you could really use help pumping out those blog posts? In that case, hire jasper.ai as your copywriter and you won't be disappointed. If you're someone who's looking more for a virtual assistant and you wanna run ideas by them and ask them to output different things that will help you maybe write emails or create posting schedules like this, right? ChatGPT, for me at least, took the win on this posting schedule. Then you may wanna look more into ChatGPT. And so for this reason, I mean, I'm someone who needs both. <laughs> I want the virtual assistant and I want the specialist in copywriting. So I personally use both, at least for now. I use the free version of ChatGPT and I have the uh, first year paid subscription with Jasper. And you can do the same thing if you like, if you're someone who needs both. If you wanna try Jasper out, you haven't tried it yet, I have a link in the description below that gives you a seven day free trial as well as 10,000 bonus credits. So you can play around with it and see if it's a good fit for you. Hit the thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.